It all kind of started with the growth of two malls in Tallahassee. Old Sam, before he passed on to glory, didn't become the richest man in America because he wasn't taking a profit out of his business model. Certainly. Next thing you know, you've got three corporate warriors duking it out on the same corner. The end result is there's one bookstore there now, and it's the only one. It's big business, but do corporations have to be big business? Saints Cafe about two and a half years ago. Uh, this was a coffee shop before and they went out of business and this was my favorite place and it was only the like fifth favorite place coffee shop that I've hung out in in Tallahassee that had gone out of business and instead of lamenting the passing of another cool hangout I kind of got pissed off and Talked everything I owned and wheeled and dealed and talked to bankers and made business plans and bought the place. And sometimes it makes money and sometimes it loses money, but it's an idea. Uh, virtually every business in in Tallahassee is uh, is an independent business in that sense of the word. Um, they arise from ideas and entrepreneurship here in this community. Then, and they are special and unique to us. It allows you to make your own decisions. It allows you to do what you want within the guidelines of what you have to do for the state, for your employees, for your establishment. It's a lot of freedom, but it's a lot of responsibility. People will walk into a new place that they haven't been before, and you'll see them like, kind of sizing it up, you know? They're like deciding if it's safe, if they're gonna be able to get what they want. They don't do that when they walk into a McDonald's because they know exactly what they're getting, but it takes, takes a little bit of bravery to go check out some wacky small business because you don't know what you're gonna get. You know, everybody thinks it's gonna be like the soup Nazi, you know? You come in and you're gonna get a hard time from some wacky, eccentric person who owns a small business, you know? And, you know, that might happen, but for the most part, you're going to go to a small business and meet somebody cool. We have a lot of local cu like customers from the neighborhood around here, and uh, they're very loyal, very loyal, come in all the time. I see the same faces every day a lot of the times. A challenge of running this particular business is explain to people what you're selling. It's not like a, a generic chain place. It's like, what do you sell? Well, we sell a little bit of everything, um, and it is used items, most of it vintage. It's a really good job. I have to meet a lot of nice people who are into interesting movies and uh, make suggestions where I can. I do not have health insurance. Um, I've been searching for health insurance for about six months. I'm in desperate need of it. Health insurance continues to be an issue, um, the cost of health insurance and things of that nature. But that's a national, I mean, that you could knock on any community's door at this point and they'd say health insurance is an issue. The whole health care situation in this country is so screwed up and everybody's running around talking this and that based on propaganda they've been fed by people who are getting rich off of their pain. And it sucks. But my full-time staff has health insurance, yeah. I'm not able to cover the part-time staff, but I cover 100% of my um, full-timers. I think the businesses that are offering health insurance are stretching. Um, that des definitely is a testament to um, their employees. And, I would earn a lot more money if I didn't cover my employees, my full-time employees' health insurance. On the other hand, um, my full-time employees have been here, one going on 11 years and one going on six years. Health insurance is one of those things that will keep you in a job that you're unhappy with as a result of not being able to get health insurance otherwise. You know, if it was more readily available, I think that we would, probably very many of us would be in different uh, career choices, you know. I mean, I quit a corporate job because I didn't like what was going on and kind of just walked out, started doing this, and I had health insurance and now I don't, but we still are small and I, there's sometimes when I don't get a paycheck, so it's just kind of a month to month thing. Typically across the country, uh, about 80% of new small businesses, and this is less than 100 employees, will fail within five years. 
There's a lot of carnage out there in the business uh, world. We are a venue for members to be in touch with one another, to market their services to one another. Our organization provides tangible benefits to members from discounts on advertising when you're just starting a business um, to networking venues and things of that nature. The best and first reason to be a member of a Chamber of Commerce is so that you make business contacts of people that are going to use your products and services. In fact, it may be the single most important tool to survival is that Chamber membership. Uh, back when we first opened up, we were members of the uh, Chamber of Commerce and, you know. I don't know about those guys. It's like, they're lobbyists. They're like shiny offices downtown. They get their dues and, I don't know, make pretty signs and let you stick them in the window. But it's like, what are they going to do for me? You know, the dues, the, no, just uh, didn't feel like paying dues, you know, it's not, you don't get too much in return. I mean, yeah, you're mentioned and, and you know, th there's, there is an avenue to be explored with that. But now that I've worked with them, they become a member of locally owned Tallahassee and we're a member of them. Now I see where they actually have all these meetings every day for breakfast. You can meet other business centers, kind of like Ibica does. Um, but there are some chains. There are people that Walmart or Target, you know, Chains can also be a member, so that's the difference between the chamber and, I think, locally owned. We've changed our name recently from Ibica to locally owned Tallahassee. Our technical business still operates under Ibica, but locally owned Tallahassee says a lot more. Uh, well, I'm the founder and president of locally owned Tallahassee. I've worked with this organization for nine years, and what we are is a coalition of independent business owners. We work together to try to help create traffic between our businesses and also to try to educate the public of about who their locally owned businesses are and why it might be important to shop locally owned. I don't think I would still be open if it wasn't for locally owned Tallahassee, also known as Ibica. Uh, I was dating this girl and her mom ran Ibica. She's like, you have a small business and you're not in Ibica? You better get in Ibica or I'm going to get in big trouble. And you're going to get in big trouble. So I joined Ibica so Wendy wouldn't beat the crap out of me. Uh, but that's not entirely true. I think Ibica is a really cool thing. And, you know, something as simple as that brochure, you know, where people can have it all laid out for them. That these are the independent businesses. We also educate people at the union at FSU at different times of the year about what shopping locally means. We mean shop locally owned, which means come to a business that's owned locally, the money stays in the business, there's people here that live here, own it, and can talk to you. The, the joy of shopping locally, why it's important to our economy, is that even if that business owner for the local retailer takes out the profit to buy his home, his car, um, what, his clothing, food, whatever, those dollars tend to stay within that economy and they bubble around in this economy rather than a portion of them going off. Money is used five times over when you shop at a locally owned store as opposed to a chain. Um, for an example, I hate to pick on Walmart, but if for every time that someone buys a vintage clothing item as opposed to a clothing item there, that money that we bring in supposedly is spent, like I go shop at Wendy store or I go shop at New Leaf and that money is spent over and over again in the same community. Whereas Walmart would take that money and take it to the corporate office. I mean any, any money that people don't realize that the money they spend at Lowe's goes to North Carolina. The money they spend at Home Depot goes to Atlanta, Georgia. They're not helping themselves really by shopping at these establishments.